I actually wanted to run something by you. How would you feel about me maybe fixing up my old bounty hunting ads, maybe putting you in them to drum up business? I mean, my name will still be bigger than yours in the logo, but we'd be stupid not to capitalize on your growing reputation. Yo, you guys are fresh out of Friendelos. Oh, hey, I I'm Tweeg. I'm dating your sister. Uh, this fucking guy. Tweeg. You need to leave. Um, Lizzie says it's cool if I'm here. You just gonna let this sack of shit eat all my friendalos and tongue kiss your sister? I'm the one who bought those fucking friendalos. And leave Tweeg alone. You know he has a barbed tongue and he's very sensitive about it. I can go. No, Tweeg. You're staying. Tell him he's staying. Look, he doesn't even love you. He's just after our house. It's our house. Exactly. Hey, Tweeg, you gotta be careful around Lizzie. She's just gonna hit it and quit it. Real heartbreaker. I'd get out now while you're still in the green. And hey, you want a real lover? Talk to me. Don't you have a galaxy to fuck? Come on, tell him to leave. Thank you. I appreciate it. But honestly, it's my house too. So I don't even know why I have to fight for this. I'm just so pissed at everyone. Aww. Not you, Twig. I love you, baby. Ah! Disgusting! Look at this! They're not even the same species! Do, do you know how many holes he has? And they're all really advanced level holes. You really gotta take my nephew instead. His holes are more your speed. Shut the hell up, Gene. I am sick of your shit. All you do is sit on our couch and mope about how sad your life is. You're a leech trying to eat all of our friendalos and use the only family I have left to relive your glory days. Hey! Your family's doing a great job! You know how hard it is to kill that many high-level bounties in such a short amount of time? I mean, it's not as fast as I could have done it, but, uh... I know they're doing a great job, and I'm proud of them. But I'm stuck here dealing with you all the time, and you're fucking pathetic! Tell him how pathetic he is. Hey, right, come on. Don't make it sound so sad. Look, I admit I wasn't in a good place when you found me, but I feel like I'm part of your family now. I'm basically your dad now. You too, Lizzie. I'm your dad. I'm just worried about you dating this weird freak who just wants to steal my couch away from me. You can call it your couch when you start paying rent. Until then, no complaining about who lives here. Lives here? He's gonna live here? I mean, if you think we're ready, Tweeg. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Hey, shut up, Tweeg. This isn't about you. Why? Because you're worried you'll have to share a cushion? No! Because I... Because I'm concerned! You barely know this guy. And it's dangerous out there for humans. Oh, that's rich and condescending. I am not an idiot. I know what I'm doing. You're cool with Tweeg moving in, right? Good. Like I needed your approval anyway. This is a mistake. Ugh. That's enough of this. Tweeg, let's go to the park. To... <laughs> to... To kiss? <laughs> yeah. Anybody got a fucking problem with that? Eesh. Sorry I said anything. Let's just get back to the bounty hunting. Can't wait to show you those new commercials. You seen Merv? Uh, no. Uh, why don't you come in? It's cold. He, uh, he took off as soon as we got home, but when I checked his cabin, he disappeared. Uh, I've never seen him this upset. I'm afraid he's gonna do something silly. That's funny. Scott hasn't come back yet either. Uh, I keep thinking I'm gonna wake up soon and find myself back in my bed at school, just waiting to come home. I'm gonna give Sarah a call. Maybe she saw him around. She knows him? Oh, she saw a photograph. He didn't show me one. Okay. What's good enough for Sarah is good enough for me. The Bible my mother left for me. I treasure it always will be. 
though it's threadbare and worn, since the day I was born, it's been such a comfort to me. Well, that's it. I have called everybody now. Either Scott didn't make it into town at all, or he simply just vanished off the face of the earth. Why don't you try Sarah again and see if she got to work yet? Yeah, she should have been there almost an hour ago. It's strange she hasn't been at home either. Gary, I just don't understand all this. Well, there is one very... Anna, come see what I've got in stock on the food menu. Sweezy's ready for blood. Is the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. Our team already has four guns. Isn't that enough? I'm asking for real. I really don't know. Trust me. We need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Oh, another Gatlian. That's fantastic. That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Don't get mad at me for not knowing this, because remember, my brain's been scrambled. But how would we find him? We do it the old-fashioned way and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. I haven't known you very long, Gene, but I respect you more than anyone else I've ever met in my life. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Hey there, bounty hunter. It's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Detective mode? Hey, what's the skinny on this giblets fella? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Very keen of you, Slam. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? And two and two makes four. Let's do what the suit says, kid. Uh, uh, look at me. 
Okay, you can look away now. Bye-bye. Ah, our first suspect. Bye. We had to find out if they knew anything about Dr. Giblets, but they weren't gonna make things easy for us, see? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. Yeah, well, 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 what do you got going on? I found out the hard way that you were uh, cheating. Do I look nervous? Was, uh, <laughs> oh, jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. Yeah. Oh, what? Why do you care? Oh, if you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches. No, 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 and yes, I regret it. No, I, I don't know why I ate that many. What, 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 what is there to talk about? I, I, I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is. But <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. Like, uh, like the Am I what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. What, what's funny about that? Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. What? The, what the fuck? Oh, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the trial version of detective mode. So there's going to be ads. You love ads. This will be worth it, I promise. Okay. Stop right there, Slick. We're looking for Dr. Giblets. You're gonna help or what? Slick, what the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off! Quit the, the drug guys. No! I don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? How you doing? Like, with your weird interrogation? Awful! Annoying! I wish you'd stop! I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else, or can I fucking go? Ooh, bummer. They were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth, according to my sensors. So let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time. Let's look for somebody else. You look cool! Can we talk to you? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. Well, sure. Yeah, I don't really have any moral issue with accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. But uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me, so uh, how about no? I was playing snooker with Blordo. Yeah, he's really bad at it, so I won a few hundred pesos. <laughs> it was a great night. Hey, thanks for asking about my night, pal. It was nice of you. You take an interest in people. That's admirable. Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about the G3. It's just, we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? Holy shit, wow, you, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woohoo. That was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blurdo and mention Michael Taint. Come see what I've got in stock on the food menu. Hi, Lordo. We're looking for Dr. Giblets. Can you help? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. Oh, did we do something wrong? Sorry, should we not ask about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something, I'll beat it, buster. Ah, oh, that piece of shit. I'm gonna kill him. Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight launches tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here. If anyone sees me talking to you, I'm dead. Understood, sir. Yes, sir. 
Whoa! Great sleuthing, detectives. That was an S rank interrogation. Grundle sphere. And it's a physical object located in the Dwarfian Nebula. So you have to go to it to listen to the music. Is that right? Glad we found this. Hello? Hi, is this Slippo's Pizza? I want a pizza now! I want it right now! Do you get me? Not in 30 minutes or less or whatever. I need it instantaneous! And I know we have the tech for that. Why are you still delivering pizzas by foot? Just zap them to me. There's like 10 different ways you can do it by now. Portal door, warp base, anything. I don't care. Just get it to me right now! Wait. Never mind. I'm not hungry. Bye. Oh, it's you. Back to hurt my feelings again? Leave them alone! Hey, what's up, best friend? Don't wait in that crowd full of nerds! You head right on through! Those guys are fun! The night was getting longer by the minute. Oh, yeah, hey, Soon, hey, yeah. The new high on life. You don't want to talk to me. I'm the broken leg guy. Nobody wants to talk to the broken leg guy. Nobody knows. Could be crazy. <laughs> We heard you were asking around for Jibla. Oh, you're back. Do you need somebody to go with you? So it's best not to stick your nose where, where it don't. Wait. Oh, shit. It's you. The bounty on his back. Everyone. Let's do this, bounty hunter. 
Take that, you ant freaks. We're not scared of you or the G3. You don't want us sniffing around? Then do something about it. Oh, wait. I guess you tried that. Come on, let's find high on life. The slums have always been a mess, but I, I don't like what they're doing over here to this place. It's, it just feels weird. Wow, looks like the property value's going up around here. High on life has got to be close. Hey, I'm ready to give birth whenever. people. outside the high on life, see? What's the big deal? Why was it attracting a crowd? I've got so many questions. And I'm asking Don't worry, detectives can always cut lines. The rules do not apply to the law. Oh, I just hope they don't make me buy a new adapter. Welcome to High on Life store number 7923, your local Hyperbong Superstore. Please, no traveling of other patrons during the midnight launch.
Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Sudo, by the way. You know me. Hi, Sudo. I'm a detective now. Yeah, you already know what I'm going to say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Well, that's a great idea. You're an even better detective than me. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell Hyperbongs and Hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. That hot new species you've been hearing about, High on Life Hyperbongs, are the only way to get that fix. Illegal? No, 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 not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Clug Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them. High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program? We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? Woo, these are some tough nuts to crack. Don't lose motivation, you're doing great. But you do get a D ranking because that one sucked. It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. Are you being helped already? You know, I can't recall whether or not I've heard that name before, but I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. I'm so sorry, that is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have you considered buying a drop-proof case for your Hyperbong? High on Life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Torg family. That worries the other customers, and we don't want that. Oh, I'm so excited you asked. A hyperbong is a device used to absorb the life energy of another species in order to trigger a psychedelic effect in the operator. Ooh, boy, they really want to make that commission, huh? Sorry, but I gotta give you another D rank. Oh, uh, 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 hello, uh, hello, and welcome, welcome to High on Life. I'm Barrick, and I'm going to be a personal uh, High on Life uh, prof professional today. Um, d d that makes sense, right? That Does that sound okay? I'm, I'm new here. God, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I have no clue. Me? Oh, no, 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 I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was, uh, oh, it was a bad idea for me, probably. Oh, no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbon 6 midnight lunch, and we literally just opened, so, uh, I only been here for, like, half an hour. And honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far, because, like, I can already feel my soul leaving my body. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. Wow, nice kid, but not helpful at all. You get a big fat D ranking. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? 
nah, I think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical, it's weird. I don't know, I'm just here. I'm just here. That's right, it's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyperbongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Oh man, this again. L look man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store, or who built it, or I I'm, I'm kind of a fuck up. I lied on my resume, I got this manager gig, I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like, I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. Slow down there, slick. You're saying you know Dr. Giblets? Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around, though. I don't really know where he is. What? I told you. I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit. Not, not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end, so let's get the... Fuck out of here and... Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where it don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. Just when things start to look all rosy, two knucklehead lugs showed up to hassle us. You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this, got it? We've got this covered. You get to meet a lot of cool, silly people when you're a detective. Sometimes I even get to see more Ever be a detective. Ooh, touch me again! Touch me again! I need it! A body! This was classic mystery stuff. Except it seemed very obvious this guy was trampled to death. Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment he was there, next he's gone. Squashed. Dead end, literally. Looks like we need to get our hands dirty and steal those mag boots off the stiff. Maybe we could climb our way out of this hole, see? Yeah, that's fine. You can totally take those mag boots. Detectives aren't perfect. Sometimes we steal property off a dead corpse. But we'll do whatever it takes to solve the case. Hey, sick moves! You're making good use of those mag boots. Using those things is way better than David Blue's ever do. Look at you!
bitch. Hey, I hope you're having a great day, bounty hunter. And I hope you go fuck yourself. I, I, I was I was pronounced innocent, but nobody really saw it, so I, I I'm 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 buying these commercials to just make sure everyone knows. I'm getting tired just looking at you run. Welcome back. We've got company. Hello there. Oh, great. You fuckers again. Oh, Ari, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim. The Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G3 cartel. Or more specifically... Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed, pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Oh, shit, yeah. Let's go see what Clug's been up to. Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Oh, enough pleasantries. Let's keep this moving. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of Blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with... Dr. Giblets? Trust me, we're gonna blast him to pieces with or without you, but we just hit a dead end. A dead end? Oh no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. Got it, that's where Dr. Giblets is. Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah, and then we get to, you know. Hey, hey, hey! I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. We don't need luck. You're doing great work. Fuck yeah, let's go kill Dr. Giblets. Thanks for helping our dad. We love our dad, Clug. They're my kids, yeah. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> Good boys, too.
go. Honestly, gotta hand it to Clug. He showed us where Giblets is. That's great. I kind of regret not voting for him. So much easier. Now get out there and kill Giblets. Jinko Tweet, famous spaceship pilot who has trouble sleeping at night. Why can't... village. Our currency here is tires, and we sacrifice our younglings to the Lord Asphaltia, High God of the Way. At first we were scared. How did we end up here? Where were we? Should we leave our highway and it turn... Oh, I'm so Suck sorry, it, I'll let you go. Oh, God, please, uh, to your business. Jesus shitting Christ! Oh. oh, it's so nice to see you again. It turns out the answers in order as I asked them were, I don't know, I don't know, and definitely not. It is true, we used to hate each other, honking and shouting, fuck you, back and forth, like animals, but now, we have found community and love. Hey, I'm the youngest one left alive. That means they're gonna sacrifice me to Lord Asphaltia tomorrow. I'm not too excited about it, to be honest, actually. Hey, I'm not even that much younger than everyone else. I'm 45 years old. I just happen to be the youngest by a couple of months. I know everyone's happy, but we did kill a lot of children in the name of a god we only made up within the last week. Isn't that crazy? Hello, friend. My old life was flawed. Now I live the way of the highway. Lord Asphaltia provides for us, by which I mean sometimes a mite scurries up into our territory. We eat it and it's so, so we don't die. They taste awful, but it helps us not die. You know, I didn't believe in Lord Asphaltia a few days ago, but, I mean, since then, we, we've made him up, and I'm like, uh, I, I'm a believer, for sure, and for sure and forever. You're blessed by Lord Asphaltia. Finders keepers! My trick hole's ready for you. Let's glob them.
Yeah, good thing you like running so much, huh? Uh, oh, thank God. Thank God someone's here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing consciousness. Oh, oh. oh my God. What, what, what happened? A G3 base warped right through here. Right, 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 right where I was. And, uh, well, well it shot me uh, right in half. I got cut in half. A, G a G3 base? Oh, my God. It was probably Dr. Giblets. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm fading fast. Please, please, please just stay with me while I die. I, I, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. Okay, hang in there. Hang in there. We'll, we'll stay with you as long as it takes. No, no. It, it's my time to go. Oh, thank you for for staying with me as I die. Oh, just, just don't leave. Okay. Now I feel it. Here I go. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh. Fuck, that rips my heart out. Hey, 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 where, where are you guys going? You you promised me to stay with me until I until I die. Hey, hey, thanks for coming back. Are you really dying? You, you, you sound fine now. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, oh, I'm dying. No, I'm actually, oh, not uh, for real this time, though. Oh, my God. Oh, stay. Don't go anywhere. Stay with me. Thank you. Oh, here, here I go. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Alright, shit. I, I, I guess that's it then. Hey, hey, what the fuck? You left me again. I'm, I'm not dead yet, asshole. If you leave me again, I swear to God I'm gonna kill myself. I thought you were already dying. Oh, whoops, whoops, never, never mind. I, 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 I'm really, I'm really dying now. Now this, oh, for real, this, the, but this time is the real one. Oh, good, good, I can feel it. Oh, fuck. Oh, this really hurts. Good, 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 bye. bye. Oh, oh. Okay, this time it's got to be real. Let, let, let's just get out of here. It's it's depressing. Hey, hey guys, I'm still alive. You need to come back here and stay with me. Okay, fuck that. I, I'm, I'm fine now. I'm fine now. I, I don't think I'm going to die. But I am so disappointed in you for leaving me in my time of need when you explicitly promised you wouldn't. Listen, we've got places to be. It's important. Can we just wrap this up? Oh, no, wait. I, I'm dying for real now. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god. Ugh. Two steps away, I swear. Oh shit, I guess he really did finally die. Uh, are you gonna fuck you? Okay, I'm, I'm dying for real over here, and it's really sad. I'm all alone. Oh. I'm dying alone. Oh. All right, we're leaving. Okay, you know what? You're right. We, we, we are in a hurry. We should keep going. Okay, so is this Dr. Giblets' base? Where, where the hell is he? Well, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblets with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, fine. Oh, that's a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? 
But I've realized it's not a good situation for everyone who died. But it's great for us detectives because we need a good mystery to solve. Now go scan stuff. Hmm, a destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there, that's what they're used for, that's what drones are for, they're for combat, that's not weird to see a destroy- Someone was killing G3 mercs. You know what, that makes sense, everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time, I mean look at you, that's what you're doing. Looks like your typical work desk, nothing too crazy, uh, uh you know, best I can guess is someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments, I don't know, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. Someone beat us to the punch. They attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Huh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. All right then, let's, let's keep moving. Howdy there, cowboys. Uh, oh shit, sorry, wrong bit, wrong bit. I mean, howdy there, detectives. Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's gotta be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning. We got this! Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. These must be old hyperbong prototypes. Way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out. Now we can move on to the next thing. Look at all these drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms, but we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up drone heads. Thanks for showing me this. All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm back in the next door! Alright, I got no fucking idea what this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go, go find more clues, baby! Oh shit, that's a G Gatlion! A regular old Gatlion doesn't look like it's in good health at all. Probably should just let it be, honestly. Aha, so that's our murder weapon. Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatlion to attack his men. It's pretty powerful, did a lot of did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatlion for ourselves. You think that's gonna happen? Uh, who knows, let's find out. Oh boy, did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he, are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really give out second place trophies for science? Jeez, it looks like Dr. Giblets was pissed he didn't get first place in, in science. Okay, I think we finally cracked this case. Dr. Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. Wait, so we didn't have to find any of those clues? Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets. I think that's Dr. Giblets. Uh, that was very anticlimactic, but I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not complaining. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me add him. Dr. Giblets status report. No life sense detected. Entering full security lockdown. Uh -oh. If you're hearing this pre-recorded message, it means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come and I was prepared for this moment. Now 
see if you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave. I should have fucking known it wouldn't have been so easy. Crazy. But look at me now. I'm dead and you're trapped in here. I've fallen prey to my glorious giant you were ever so jealous of. That's right, Timothy. I know it was you. My old son killed me. And for what? The inheritance? My land? Or just a plain old Crimothy. Yes. Yes, I was wrong. How could I have been so blind? I know who killed me now. It was you, Krubus. Didn't he know we were coming? Jake, yes! I kind of respect how many messages he had to record. Oh, great, I'm back out! I feel like I fucked up or something. Oh, You have a nice party, haven't you? 
but so it landed you in hot water with our virtuous, perhaps you wish to strike back against our leader by killing his prize scientist, me! That would certainly hurt his feelings. But it was a mistake to think you could just walk out of here alive! I remember that party where you got naked and experimented with one of the Squiggle Brothers. It was really harsh. I took the photographs. Perhaps that's why you killed me. To get back those photographs. Well, too bad. I did make a deal to post them all over the internet the second my heart stopped beating. But don't worry. They're really hot. So everyone will think it's cool.
to hear this, then I'd made a great mistake. I was wrong. Only one person could have survived all of that. Myself. I killed myself. Finally. It makes sense, you know. I always hated myself. I knew I'd get the guts to do it one of these days. Good for me. Oh, that's dark. So, okay, I killed myself. Whoops. My apologies to whoever's hearing this. I hope you'll forgive me for making you go through all of that. You can leave now. Have a good day. Giblets out. R.I.P. Giblets. Wow, okay, good, 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 good work. Uh, I think we can get back out through the trap door now. You know what? Let's take him back to Gene. Gene knows. He can fix, get him all fixed up. I just wanted to say, you know, today, today really meant a lot to me. And, um, uh, God, oh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up. So see you later. Bye. Oh, thank God. Okay, Bounty Hunter, you go through the menus. You find that detective mode. You shut it the fuck off. Never again. Okay, I'm serious. Delete it. J delete it. And if we, if you can't do it, we, we, we go, we go to, you know, we, it's a whole mission. It'll be a whole DLC mission. Every last peso we've ever earned, we pay whoever it is to delete this fucking detective mode bullshit. You know, a whole DLC story about it that, that we'll charge $45 for. And it'll only be like an hour of content because fuck you. Bitch! No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wouldn't do that. We wouldn't do that. We're not gonna do that. Oh, look at that. You found Dr. Giblets all by yourself. See? It's not so easy figuring out where these bozos are. How'd it go? Come on over. Let's bow wow. Okay. You, uh, you seen Merv? Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblets. Um, he is dead, but we also found another Gatlian. Oh shit, that's great. I, 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 I don't know about that. I mean, he, he's, he's not really functional. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's dead, but. Oh, God damn. Yeah, he's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? Wake up soon and find myself back in my bed. Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not gonna promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. You would be careless to toy with your emotions like that, but yes. I can definitely fix it. Okay, th thanks, Gene. But, you know, if, if you can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be, uh... What was that? Uh, nothing. I, 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 I was being shitty. You, you didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but, uh... Turn in your bounty real quick. I've got some good news and some bad news. Everybody now, either Scott is making this town at all, or it's simply just... Okay. <laughs>